Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 4th of 2020. Well, it is titled the slow dance of galaxies NGC 5394 and 5395. So what do we see here? Well, this is a image that shows two galaxies. And they are both spiral galaxies as we can see from their spiral structure that is associated with them. And these are galaxies that are in the process of a collision. Now col galaxy collisions take a long time. So it's not an instantaneous thing that happens quickly when we think about the sizes of these things that they can be 100,000 light years across that it takes a long time for them to move around each other. So galaxy can, uh, collisions can take hundreds of millions of years to actually finally occur and to finish. Now what happens when galaxies collide is not much happens to the individual stars themselves. Stars are very small compared to the distances between them. So we're two galaxies to collide the stars just pass right by each other. However, other things do actually collide and that would be the gas clouds that are associated with them. When gas clouds collide, they compress and they begin ad additional star formation. And we can see the uh, in intense red color here of a lot of star forming regions. And that red color is caused by hydrogen gas that is being excited by very hot stars. So the new hot stars that have formed give us the bluish glow in the spiral arms. And some of those are exciting hydrogen gas around them showing star forming regions, which are similar to things like the Orion Nebula that we see in our own galaxy. Now here we see uh, all of that. But we also note that in a, a galaxy collision, the amount of star formation is enhanced. So there are far more stars forming here than we would see in galaxies that are not interacting. And that is because of those gas clouds that are being collided together and compressed. And that the star formation rate in both galaxies will be enhanced during this collision. Now over time the galaxies will settle down and begin to look like ordinary galaxies again. So once the collision is over, if you could come back in a billion years or so, you would see either the galaxies separate and pretty much back to normal, or perhaps they have combined together colliding together and forming one much larger galaxy. But again, it will look just like an ordinary galaxy again. So waiting enough time, they will actually uh, look like normal galaxies. Now galaxy collisions are how we believe galaxies grow and have developed and evolved over time. That galaxies early on in the history of the universe were much smaller than the galaxies we see today. And that over time they have collided together and built themselves up into the very large spiral galaxies and elliptical galaxies that we see today. Now around the rest of the image, we can see a number of other stars and galaxies. Some of those stars are foreground stars within our own Milky Way. But many of the objects that you see here are actually more distant galaxies. And many of those galaxies could be colliding as well, although it is quite uh, not easy to tell just by looking at galaxies, uh, especially the distant ones here to tell whether they are actually interacting with each other, or if they just happen to be in the same direction at the, in the sky, but at widely differing distances. So that was our picture of the day for March the 4th of 2020. It was titled The Slow Dance of Galaxies NGC 5394 and 5395. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.